English is a Crazy Language by Richard Lederer. English is the most widely spoken language in the history of our planet, used in some way by at least one out of every seven human beings around the globe. Half of the world's books are written in English, and the majority of international telephone calls are made in English. 60% of the world's radio programs are beamed in English, and more than 70% of international mail is written and addressed in English. 80% of all computer text, including all websites, are stored in English. English has acquired, sorry, English has acquired the largest vocabulary of all the world's languages perhaps as many as two million words, and has generated one of the noblest bodies of literature in the annals of the human race. Nonetheless, it is now time to face the fact that English is a crazy language, the most loopy and wiggy of all tongues. In what other language do people drive in a parkway and park in a driveway? In what other language do people play at a recital and recite at a play? Why does night fall but never break and day break but never fall? Why is it that we transport something, in a, something by a car, it's called a shipment, but when we transport something by ship, it's called cargo? Why does a man get a hernia and a woman a hysterectomy? Why do we pack suits in a garment bag and garments in a suitcase? Why do privates eat in the general mess and generals eat in the private mess? Why do we call it newsprint when it contains no printing, but when we put print on it, we call it a newspaper. Why are people who ride motorcycles called bikers and people who ride bikes called cyclists? Why, in our crazy language, can your nose run and your feet smell? Language is like the air we breathe. It's invisible, inescapable, and indispensable, and we take it for granted. But when we take the time to step back and listen to the sounds that escape from the holes in people's faces and to explore the paradoxes and vagarities of English, we find that hot dogs can be cold, dark rooms can be lit, homework can be done in school. Nightmares can take place in broad daylight, while morning sickness and daydreaming can take place at night. Tomboys are girls, and midwives can be men. Hours, especially happy hours and rush hours, often last longer than 60 minutes. Quicksand works very slowly. Boxing rings are square. Silverware and glasses can be made of plastic and tablecloths of paper. Most telephones are dialed by being punched or pushed. And most bathrooms don't have any baths in them. In fact, a dog can go to the bathroom under a tree. No bath, no room, it's still going to the bathroom. And doesn't it seem a little bizarre that we go to the bathroom? in order to go to the bathroom? Why is it that a woman can man a station, but a man can't woman one? That a man can father a movement, but a woman can't mother one? And that a king rules a kingdom, but a queen doesn't rule a queendom? How did all those Renaissance men reproduce when there don't seem to have been any Renaissance women? Sometimes you have to believe that all English speakers should be committed to an asylum for the verbally insane. 
In what other language do they call the third hand on the clock the second hand? Why do they call them apartments when they're all together? Why do we call them buildings when they're already built? And stadiums, why are the seats called stands when they're made for sitting? Why is it called a TV set when you only get one? Why are movie coming attractions called trailers when they come before the main attraction or the main feature? Why do we call a ship that pushes other ships a tugboat? Why do we call that useful basket with the top on it a hamper? Why is your finger called a thumb, but your big toe doesn't have a name of its own? Why do we call food servers waiters when it's the customers who do the waiting? Why is the person to whom you entrust your hard-earned life savings called a broker? Why is phonetic not spelled phonetically? Why is it so hard to remember how to spell mnemonic? Why doesn't onomatopoeia sound like what it is? Why is the word abbreviation so long? Why is diminutive so undiminutive? Why does the word monosyllabic consist of five syllables? Why is there no synonym for synonym or thesaurus? And why, pray tell, does lisp have an S in it? English is crazy. If adults commit adultery, do infants commit infantry? If olive oil is made from olives and vegetable oil made from vegetables, what do they make baby oil from? If a vegetarian eats vegetables, what does a humanitarian consume? If a television is a TV, shouldn't a telephone be a TP? If a pronoun replaces a noun, does a proverb replace a verb? If pro and con are opposites, is Congress the opposite of progress? If we get seasick on the sea, airsick in the air, and carsick in a car, then why don't we get homesick in our home? And speaking of the home, why aren't homework and housework the same thing? Why can you call a woman a mouse but not a rat, a kitten but not a cat? Why is it that a woman can be a vision but not a sight unless your eyes hurt? Then she can be a sight for sore eyes. A writer is someone who writes and a stinger is something that stings. But fingers don't fing, grocers don't grosh, hammers don't ham, humdingers don't humding, ushers don't ush, and haberdashers do not haberdash. If the plural of tooth is teeth, shouldn't the plural of booth be beef? One goose, two geese, so one moose, two meese. One index, two indices. One Kleenex, two Kleenices. If people ring a bell today and rang a bell yesterday, why don't we say that they flang a ball? If they wrote a letter, perhaps they also boat their tongue. If the teacher taught, why isn't it also true that the preacher prot? Why is it that the sun shone yesterday while I shined my shoes, that I treaded on water 
or I'm sorry, I, that I treaded water and then trod on the beach. And that I flew out to see a World Series game in which my favorite player flied out. Why do people say that they slept like a baby when babies wake up every two hours and cry? Why do we watch television but see a movie? Why are we on television but in a movie? If we conceive a conception <clears throat> and receive at a reception, why don't we grieve a gruption and believe a beluption? If a firefighter fights fire, what does a freedom fighter fight? If a horsehair mat is made out of, from the hair of horses, from what is a mohair coat made? If button and unbutton and tie and untie are opposites, why are loosen and unloosen and ravel and unravel the same? If bad is the opposite of good, hard the opposite of soft, and up the opposite of down, why are badly and goodly, hardly and softly, and upright and downright not opposing pairs? If harmless actions are the opposite of harmful actions, why are shameful and shameless behavior the same, and pricey objects less expensive than priceless ones. If appropriate and inappropriate remarks and passable and impassable mountain trails are opposites, why are flammable and inflammable materials, heritable and inheritable property, and passive and impassive people the same? How can valuable objects be less valuable than invaluable ones? If uplift is the same as lift up, why are upset and set up opposite in meaning? Why are pertinent and impertinent, canny and uncanny, and famous and infamous neither opposites nor the same? How can raise and raise and reckless and reckless be opposites when the words in each pair contain the same sound? Why is it that when the sun or the moon or the stars are out, they are visible, but when the lights are out, they are invisible? That when I clip a coupon from a newspaper, I separate it, but when I clip a coupon to a newspaper, I fasten it and that when I wind up my watch, I start it, but when I wind up this essay, I shall end it. English is a crazy language. Small wonder that we English users are constantly standing meaning on its head. Let's look at a number of familiar English words and phrases that turn out to mean the opposite or something very different from what we think they mean. I really miss not seeing you. Whenever people say this to me, I feel like responding, all right, I'll leave. Here speakers throw in a gratuitous negative, not, even though I really miss seeing you is what they want to say. The movie kept me literally glued to my seat. The chances of our buttocks being literally epoxied to a seat are about as small as the chances of our literally rolling in the aisles while watching a funny movie or literally drowning in tears while watching a sad one. We actually mean the movie kept me figuratively glued to my seat, but who needs figuratively anyway? A non-stop flight, never get on one of these, you'll never get down. A near miss, a near miss is in reality a collision. A close call is actually a near hit. 
my idea fell between the cracks. If something fell between the, between the cracks, didn't it land smack on the planks or the concrete? Shouldn't that be my idea fell into the cracks or between the baseboards? Pick up the phone. When someone rings you, you pick up the receiver, not the entire phone. A hot water heater. Who heats hot water? This is similar to garbage disposable. Actually, the stuff isn't garbage until after you dispose of it. A hot cup of coffee. Here again, the English language set, gets us in hot water. Who cares if the cup is hot? Surely we mean a cup of hot coffee. Donut holes. Aren't those little treats really donut balls? The hole is what's left in the original donut. And if a candy cane is shaped like a cane, why isn't a donut shaped like a nut? Because we speakers and writers of English seem to have our heads screwed on backwards, we constantly misperceive our bodies, often saying just the opposite of what we mean. Watch your head. I keep seeing this sign on low doorways, but I haven't figured out how to follow the instructions. Trying to watch your head is like trying to bite your teeth. Their head over heels in love. That's nice, but all of us do almost everything head over heels. If we are trying to create an image of people doing cartwheels and somersaults, why don't we say their heels over head in love? He's got a good head on his shoulders. What? He doesn't have a neck? Put your best foot forward. Now, let's see. We have a good foot and a better foot, but we don't have a third and best foot. It's our better foot that we want to put forward. This grammar atrocity is akin to may the best team win. Usually, there are only two teams in the contest. Similarly, in any list of bestsellers, only the most popular book is genuinely a bestseller. All the rest are better sellers. Keep a stiff upper lip. <clears throat> when we are disappointed or afraid, which lip do we try to control? The lower lip, of course, is the one that we are trying to keep from quivering. I'm speaking tongue-in-cheek. Uh, so how can anyone understand you? Skinny. If fatty means full of fat, shouldn't skinny mean full of skin? They do things behind my back. You want they should do things in front of your back? English is weird. That's why you can turn a light on and you can turn a light off and you can turn a light out, but you can't turn a light in. In which the sun comes up and goes down, but prices go up and come down. And that's why your house can simultaneously burn up and burn down and your car can slow up and slow down, in which you fill in a form by filling out a form, in which your alarm clock goes off by going on, in which you are inoculated for measles by being inoculated against measles, in which you add up a column of figures by adding them down, and in which you first chop a tree down, and then you chop it up.